Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So today is our lecture 18. And in this lecture we will inshallah continue our new topic cumulative distribution function. CTF. So in the previous lecture we have uh, seen the probability mass function. Uh, so we defined that probability mass function is uh, defined for uh, discrete random variables. But cumulative distribution function uh, is defined for both discrete random variables and continuous random variable. So the uh, cumulative distribution uh, function is defined as the, the CDF cumulative distribution function of a random variable random variable x is defined as f sub x of x equal to probability that is defined x is less than or equal to x. Now as the name suggests cumulative distribution function so uh, the uh, actually the probabilities accumulates at every steps and uh, how it will be that we will see in the examples but, uh, but from the definition we can see that uh, uh, that is showing the all the probabilities that are uh, less than at a certain uh, value of x in the range of x. So uh, before going uh, to the uh, further examples so let's look at some properties of the uh, CDF, which is defined as uh, theorem 3.2. So it says that uh, for any discrete random variable x with range sx equal to x1, x2 up to so on satisfying x1 is less than x2 and so on. So it means it is written as uh, ascending order. So uh, first property is first property is fx of minus infinity is equal to 0 and cdf at plus infinity or infinity is equal to 1. So, what does uh, this property means that uh, uh, it means that uh, cdf left starts from left to right CDF starts from left and goes to the right uh, with the with FX with CDF of X starts at 0 so it, that is means uh, from minus infinity means whatever whatever is the minimum value of the x1 so that starts from there uh, at 0 and end set end set 1 so in between it will be accumulated at every step where the probability is defined so that's uh, what this first property means so second property says that uh, for all for all x prime some number which is greater than or equal to x so fx of x prime 
is greater than or equal to fx of x. So it means that if we take any any number, so which is greater than some r value in the range of x. So whenever we find the CDF at uh, the point which is uh, bigger than, which is larger than this x, so its CDF value will be always greater than or equal to the CDF value or the probability at that point. So it uh, it simply means, in other words, that uh, CDF CDF never decreases never decreases from left to right. So for, from as we have seen in the first property that CDF starts uh, from the left to the right uh, with fx of x starts at 0 and ends at 1. And the second property says that it is the increasing function. So it will never decrease uh, when it starts from 0. So it will continuously increase and ultimately will reach to 1 and it can never exceed 1. Remember it can never exceed 1 by the property 1. And the third property it says that for for xi that belongs to the range of x and epsilon there is a small number an arbitrary arbitrarily small number small positive number CDF at that point and before that number is same as probability at pro probability mass function defined at x i. So it means that uh, uh, for discrete random variable x for discrete random variable x there is a jump or discontinuity discontinuity at each value at each value of x i that belongs to the range of x the height of the height of jump at x i is p x of x i and the, uh, there is another property so it means that uh, whenever uh, there would be a jump whenever there is a prop where there is a probability defined at a point in the pmf all at all those points we will get a jump and that there would be a discontinuity at that point so uh, let's look at uh, property t uh, so it says that uh, fx of x is equal to fx of xi for all x such that such that xi So it means that uh, what it simply means that uh, uh, between jumps between jumps 
the graph of the CDF of a discrete random variable x is a horizontal is a horizontal line so uh, it means uh, uh, that uh, let's uh, so it means that we will have the horizontal line from points to the next point and there will be a discontinuity wherever we have this probability is defined in the pmf and it's a never decreasing function and uh, uh, here it says the never decreasing function and obviously it starts from uh, 0 and will end at 1 so these are the basic properties uh, that we must uh, remember uh, to uh, write down the cdf and to plot it so that would be quite easy to uh, work on if we uh, could understand so uh, let's look at once again uh, so i will repeat it somehow in do so hamar paas jo hai cdf ka matlab hai cumulative distribution function cumulative means ke jama hoti jayengi probabilities ek point se next point tak jate hue hamar paas iski kuch properties hain pehli property kya kehti hai ke ye hamar paas uh, zero se start hoga hamesha aur one pe khatam hoga aur फिर हमारे पास दूसरी प्रॉपर्टी कहती है कि ये हमारे पास डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन कभी भी नहीं बनेगा हमेशा इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन होगा लेफ्ट से राइट right जाते हुए फिर हमने कहा कि अगर हम जो प्रोबेबिलिटी से जो अगर हम जिस पॉइंट पे प्रोबेबिलिटी डिफाइन है पीएसपी एमएफ में उससे हम थोड़ा सा पीछे चले जाएं या थोड़ा सा आगे चले जाएं तो उससे सॉरी उससे थोड़ा सा हम अगर आगे चले जाएं तो हमारे पास जो प्रोबेबिलिटी है वो वही होगी जो हमारे पास उस पॉइंट पे डिफाइन है अच्छा अब और लाजमी बात है उसमें फिर डिसकंटिन्यूटी होगी ठीक है तो वो हमारे पास नज़र आ जाएगी और इस तरीके से हमारे पास जो किसी भी पॉइंट पे जिस वक्त जो प्रोबेबिलिटी डिफाइन कर रहे हैं ठीक तो वहाँ से जिस वक्त हम आगे की तरफ जा रहे हैं तो हमारे पास वहाँ पर हरिजेंटल लाइन आएगी जो जम्स के दरमियान हमें नज़र आएगी so let's uh, look at uh, uh, another basic property which is defined as uh, theorem 3.3 so that uh, theorem 3.3 so after that we will be good to go for one example f x of b minus f x of a which is equal to probability of x less than equal to b greater than a for all b is greater than or equal to a so if b have some points b is greater than equal to a on the x axis and we want to find the probability between these two points so that will be simply finding the probability at the larger point minus probability at that uh, the smaller points so if we take the difference we will find the probability of that range of this uh, random discrete random variable so uh, let's look at the example it's example 3.21 it says that uh, uh, in some previous examples we have found out the pmf of x is equal to 1 by 4 for x is equal to 0 1 by 2 for x is equal to 1 1 by 4 for x is equal to for x is equal to 2 and 0 otherwise and if you plot it that's quite simple so it is 0 one two and say this is uh, one by four say one by two so this is uh, p x of x so at zero it is one by four at one it is one by two and at two it is again one by four and rest is zero 
now it says that uh, find and sketch the cdf of the random variable so cdf will be written quite simply the same way that we have written the pmf but uh, it will start from uh, 0 and will end at 1 so uh, it is 0 for all the values where x is less than 0 now because a probability is defined at 0 so we will not take 0 here so it will be strictly less than 0 not exact not equal to okay then uh, then we will moving from here we are moving from minus infinity so from minus infinity it was 0 and when we reach at 0 we find uh, probability is defined here which is 1 by 4 so we have to add it to the previous value so previous value is already 0 0 plus 1 by 4 this probability at point 0 will be 0 plus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 and it is defined from where to where so if we go from here further from if we move from 0 onward so we can see that uh, because all other values are zeros so if we add 1 by 4 plus 0 1 by 4 plus 0 1 by 4 plus 0 so it will stay at uh, 1 by 4 until we are just behind this one because at one there is another probability defined so we will write this range as x is greater than or equal to 0 because now it is defined at 0 1 by 4 and less than 1 because before less than it is the probability is same see because of this definition because it's 0 otherwise nothing is defined in between these 2.0 and 1 so that's why now uh, if we move to the point 1 when we reach at 1 here so what will happen so what we have the previous probabilities 0 1 by 4 now we have 1 by 2 so we will add 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 and plus 0 so that would be 3 by 4 now again remember this range so x is because uh, this 1 by 2 is exactly at 1 so that will be from here now here from from 1 2 just before 2 there is no probability defined so everything is 0 so that means that we are whatever we have reached here 3 by 4 so it would be 3 by 4 plus 0 3 by 4 plus 0 and so on so it means that before 2 this probability will be the same now when we reach at 2 when we reach at 2 at this point so what will happen we have the probability 1 by 4 so it will be added to the previous probability it will be added to the previous probability and what is the previous probability 3 by 4 so because this is cumulative now because this is cumulative now because previously it was just 1 by 4 and we said 0 ok but now it is all all the things are added up to here sari cheeze yahan tak jama ho chuki hain 1 by 4 bhi jama ho gaya aur 1 by 2 bhi jama ho gaya now we have 3 by 4 now what we have to add here 1 by 4 which is add 2 so if we add 1 by 4 it is simply 1 and simply 1 for x is now because everything is 0 beyond here so what will happen if we reached here we were at 1 now so from the property 1 we cannot go beyond 1 so it starts from 0 and stays 1 so for all the values x greater than or equal to 2 it will be 1 for all the values of x now in written form if we see they are just uh, kind of same uh, just the notationally we use P here and we use F here rest notation is the same these this is the same notation and we can see that uh, in the PMF to complete the PMF we have to define this term and similarly to define the uh, uh, CDF we have to define these two values and they are must 
so it starts from 0 and will end at 1 okay now we are going to plot it uh, I need to copy it to my next page so that we can have a clear picture here okay so now let's plot this function again uh, we have this x axis uh, sorry y axis and x axis so x axis is small x and at y axis it is cdf of x so say here it is 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so say it is 1 by 2 uh, sorry 1 by 4 1 by 2 3 by 4 1 so for cdf always remember we have to plot uh, up till 1 so we have to complete the scale up to 1 so at 0 or before 0 it is 0 but what is uh, at uh, what is at 0 exactly at 0 it is 1 by 2 it is 1 by uh, sorry 1 by 4 it is 1 by 4 here and from 0 to 1 what it is it is again a same because it's 1 by 4 and at 1 again we have the jump here and the jump is it will reach to the 3 by 3 by 4 it will reach 3 by 4 and from 1 onward to 2 so we have this continuous function means it's a straight line and then again we have the jump at 2 and uh, at exactly 2 because look at this equal sign which where this equal sign is at this equal sign it is exactly 1 and then it will stay at 1. Now one thing more to add in this thing to clearly understand because in the book they have used the computer to plot it so but if we are using by hand so we can add some more uh, information in this graph in this cdf function and that is uh, where uh, when we are reaching from here from minus infinity to zero because uh, at zero it is not defined uh, at uh, before zero it is so this this function is defined before zero so because we are plotting with hand so we will put an empty circle here it means that uh, this line this line has uh, at 0 it is uh, the previous value similarly uh, previous value for this this line is, is 0 but for this function it is 1 by 4 and at 1 it is not 1 by 4 so we will use this empty circle and the complete so this filled circle will show us that uh, it has the uh, probability here so this is a this is a jump here so we can show jump here by dotted line and uh, again at this point it is uh, 3 by 4 and we can see that uh, before just before 2 it is uh, uh, it is 3 by 4 and not exa and at exactly uh, 2 it is 1 so it means that this function this function is this one actually so it is uh, 0 it's not uh, sorry it has uh, no uh, value defined at 2 but it is defined in the next step so it will continue here there will be no empty circle here so remember once again look at this uh, so we minus infinity se start karein, or just look at 0 pe pe, to 0 pe aake, iski value 0 hi hai or yes wajah se hum yahaan pe empty circle banate hain aur yahaan pe hum ek filled circle banate hain taake hamari ye jo 
प्रॉपर्टीज़ हैं उस हिसाब से फिलफिल हो फुलफिल हो जाए और अब वन बाई फोर है यहाँ पे वन बाई फोर में हमारे पास क्योंकि वन से पहले पहले तक की ये प्रॉबिलिटी है वन से लेस दैन तक की प्रॉबिलिटी है तो यहाँ पर एम सर्कल आ जाएगा अब एग्जैक्टली exactly वन के ऊपर क्योंकि ये है एग्जैक्टली वन इक्वल टू वन तो वहाँ पे क्या है हमारे पास प्रॉबिलिटी इसकी थ्री बाई या सी की वैल्यू हमारे पास क्या है थ्री बाई फोर अब ये सी की वैल्यू थ्री बाई फोर है और इसी तरीके से जब इसको बर्तर आगे लेके जाएंगे थ्री बाई फोर लेस दैन टू पर है अब लेस दैन टू तो हम यहाँ पे ड्रॉ करना बहुत मुश्किल है तो हम क्या करते हैं ये एम सर्कल बना लेते हैं कि ये इस लाइन के ऊपर ये वैल्यू टू की वैल्यू डिफाइन नहीं है बल्कि ये फील्ड सर्कल में हमारे पास टू के ऊपर वैल्यू डिफाइंड है जो कि इक्वल के निशान की वजह से है सो ये एम टी सर्कल शोज दैट इट इज़ नॉट लेस दैन दीज वैल्यूज एंड द फील्ड सर्कल शोज द इक्वल साइंस वैल्यूज सो दैट इट इज नाउ क्वाइट ईजी बिकॉज इफ इफ यू फाइंड इट डिफरेंट दैन द बुक सो सिंपली अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे आर प्लॉटेड सम हाउ बाय सम सॉफ्टवेयर so because we are plotting with by hand so we can uh, uh, use a little bit more information in it so that would be more easy to understand this so now let's uh, look at another example and uh, it's uh, actually a quiz 3.4 so i will copy it uh, from the book so it says that uh, use this cdf fy fy to find the following probabilities now i have copied it from the book so that uh, you can see that if we are making it head we can put zero empty circle here and filled circle here empty circle filled circle empty circle and this is filled circle and so on so so here now it says that uh, what is the probability of y is less than 1 so this we we are we don't know we can even write the pdf of it but uh, we are not writing it right now because we are just finding the probabilities of these numbers these uh, so first part probability of y is less than 1 is simply uh, actually y is less than 1 so it means that uh, y which is very means uh, just before just y minus uh, sorry 1 minus uh, because just uh, just before the 1 just before the 1 so if we see just before the 1 it is uh, obviously clear from here it is 0 because at 1 it is defined this value that's why it is very convenient to use this filled circle and empty circle now b it says that probability of y is less than or equal to 1 so it simply means that uh, uh, probability uh, the cdf defined at exactly uh, sorry exactly defined 1 so what's the probability at 1 we can simply clear see 0.6 so it is 0.6 then the third part says that probability of y is greater than 2 so again we can find even greater than 2 but uh, for using its complement uh, just like we have done it 1 minus previously 1 minus y is less than or equal to 2 because this is uh, easy to find less than or equal to 2 so it is exactly f y of small y so uh, sorry uh, f y of f y of 2 so it is 1 minus uh, so what is defined what's the probability defined at 2 it's not 0.6 but it is 0.8 it is 0.8 so what will be exactly 0.2 will be the probability for y is greater than 2 then the d part d part says that uh, uh, probability of y is greater than or equal to 2 so 
obviously uh, by definition we can find 1 minus less than 1 minus probability of y is less than 1. So, y is less than uh, sorry 2. So, y is less than 2 is defined as f y of 2 minus means just before 2. So, just before 2 what we have defined 0 0.6 because at 2 exactly 2 it is 0 0.8, but just before 2 it is 0 0.6. So, it will be 1 minus 0 0.6 which is 0 0.4. So, uh, always remember that uh, for CDF we have to write in this form because we have written the basic definition f x of x is defined as probability of x is less than or equal to x. So, thus just for reminder. So, we can have clear picture. So, what is probability of y is equal to 1? So, at a single point if you want to find the probability uh, so, we have to see uh, what exactly it means that it means that uh, f y of, uh, uh, of so, ok let us write uh, another way first it simply states that uh, uh, probability of y is less than equal to 1 minus probability of y is less than 1. So, which means that uh, f y of 1 or 1 say plus minus f y of 1 minus. So, what is defined at uh, 1 or just before or just after the 1 it is 0 0.6 and what is defined just before 1 it is we can see that it is 0. So, that would be 0 0.6. Now, what is probability? Uh, the last part says that uh, this was E. Now, the last part is F. F says this probability of Y is equal to 3. So, probability of Y is equal to 3. How we can define it? We have to use the same relation probability of Y is less than or equal to 3 minus probability of Y is uh, less than 3. So, it is uh, f y of 3 plus minus f y of 3 minus. So, if you look at this uh, graph, uh, so at 3 plus 3 is here remember uh, 3 is here. So, 3 plus what is value? 3 plus is here some just just after just after the 3 just after 3 here say and 3 minus is just before 3. So, it is 0 0.8 and similarly it is also 0 0.8. So, we can find out that uh, we can easily find out k probability of y is equal to 3 is exactly 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 which is 0. So, I hope you have understood the CDF how we can plot it, how we can find use to find the probabilities uh, uh, using uh, uh, this uh, CDF and uh, hopefully uh, you have understood everything. So, stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.